All right, guys, so in this video, I am going to be discussing three different forgotten buildings. These were all three buildings that did suffer collateral damage of the collapse of both the North and the South Tower. And we're going to be talking about what happened to them. Were they immediately closed? Were they uh, demolished? And what's going on right now? Did they get rebuilt? Let's get right into it. First, with the Deutsches Bank building which was a 39-story office building located in Manhattan adjacent to the World Trade Center site. The building opened originally in 1974 and closed following the September 11 attacks in 2001 due to contamination that spread from the collapse of the South Tower. Now, the collapse of the Twin Towers, specifically the South Tower, tore a 24-story gash into the facade of the building the elevated plaza that was located at the base of the building was destroyed by the collapse. Steel and concrete protruded from the building for months after, which was eventually cleaned up. However, due to extensive contamination, the bank decided that the 39-story ruin was to be taken down. During the cleanup and recovery period, netting was placed inside gashes and holes to prevent collapse. The owner maintained that the building could not be restored to habitable condition. The building was left in a dilapidated state surrounded by rubble and the World Trade Center complex for about four years. It was finally demolished. The cost of the demolition was around $75 million dollars. Deconstruction began in March of 2007, but was halted several times for different reasons, and it was finally completed on January 20th, 2011. So this bank building that was very large sat kind of dilapidated in a half-destroyed state for almost a full decade, from September 11th, 2001, when it initially started had the massive damage and you can see this photo you take a look at that facade if that reminds you of something yeah that's the south tower and that's what nailed it uh, but it was a dilapidated building for about 10 years they finally decided to demolish it in 2007 and after several complications it was demolished officially the next structure we're going to be talking about is the winter garden which was a 10-story glass pavilion that was originally constructed in 1988 and subsequently rebuilt in 2002 after September 11th. The Winter Garden Atrium houses various plants, trees, flowers, and shops. The rear of the building opens onto the World Financial Center Plaza. Now, the Winter Garden was severely damaged in the 9-11 attacks as almost all of the glass was blown out by the dust clouds and debris caused by the collapse of the World Trade Center, but it was rebuilt the first year of the Financial Center's recovery. This was rebuilt very early on. Obviously, when it comes to the World Trade Center complex, it was a massive recovery process. There was so much crap uh, and, and debris at the bottom that it took a long time, but this was rebuilt in 2002. You can take a look at some of the damage that it sustained. I always like the idea of a winter garden. You've got those nice tropical plants inside New York City. It's just kind of a cool, unique thing. And originally, the winter garden had a pedestrian bridge. Now, the pedestrian bridge was destroyed in the attacks and was initially replaced by windows facing the former World Trade Center site. In 2013, the site of the former pedestrian bridge was partially replaced with a large glass atrium, primarily serving as an entrance to an underground tunnel concourse leading to the World Trade Center station. And there it is in current time. So unlike the bank, this was rebuilt quickly and reopened in 2002, and it's still open to this day. And just another thing I wanted to mention on the Winter Garden some rare photos that I'm very curious in, specifically photos of the interior of the Winter Garden after the South Tower collapsed. So after both the Twin Towers collapsed, I would like to see more photos of the interior. I just think it's a crazy contrast, especially when you get the trees. There's only a few different photos that I could find, specifically two different ones that mainly have the trees, but I do wonder if there are more floating out there on the internet where those would be because, I don't know, I just find something very eerie about the state of New York and the sky at the time and the dust in the air surrounded by those trees. It's just a crazy contrast to me. 
And the third building we're going to be talking about is the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church. The building was completely destroyed when the South Tower of the original World Trade Center collapsed after being struck. Very little of the church's contents were recovered. Very little of the church's contents were recovered. That's not all that surprising considering when you look at the church in relation to where the Twin Towers were, it was quite close and it just got absolutely crushed by the weight of all of the debris falling on top of it, specifically from the South Tower, and and obviously it's going to completely destroy it. I do vividly remember seeing a photo of this church with both of the Twin Towers burning in the background. I also have seen another photo where I'm about 99% sure right next to the church is a plain tire. It certainly did not look like a regular tire just looking at it. It was a massive thing. And some of the plain tires were actually found in and around the financial district of New York City. They ejected out of the building. There were also several plain parts that were found on the ground. And it was really only recognizable, the church was, and the area surrounding it, like all of that debris was only recognizable right after the South Tower had been hit because that's what created a bunch of the debris ejecting out of the building. And it is very, you know, just eerie to see a massive plane tire right next to this church with both of the buildings burning behind it and knowing what is coming. It is very stark and it is very sad. But yes, this church was completely destroyed during the 9-11 attacks. Following its collapse, donations of almost $2 million were received, as well as additional pledges of construction materials and appointments for the complete rebuilding of the church. In 2011, they did reach an agreement to rebuild the church, and construction and further fundraising happened from 2014 to 2017. And the church, which did take a while to build, finally opened in 2022. So it's very interesting to see these different buildings, kind of the forgotten buildings of 9-11, all have extremely different fates. You had the bank, which stayed up originally, and, and they were probably most optimistic on it potentially being, you know, recoverable and salvageable. It ends up, after about 10 years, finally getting demolished in a controlled demolition because it just was hit with too much debris. The structure was completely destroyed. It was totally contaminated with a bunch of cloud dust and and other toxins. You had the winter atrium, which was immediately rebuilt. It was really damaged and then rebuilt officially in 2002. Probably one of the first buildings within the World Trade Center complex to be fully rebuilt. And then you had the church, which was completely destroyed by the South Tower and then rebuilt over a longer period of time with an opening happening in 2022. Now, you also do have the main buildings of the World Trade Center complex, the numbered buildings, the ones that I'm talking about, you know, one World Trade Center, two World Trade Center, three World Trade Center. Several of those have been rebuilt. Two World has not. And I am doubting if it will ever actually get rebuilt. But everyone knows about those because they're located within the complex. They are the main buildings. These are just more forgotten areas that not many people talk about. And I didn't even know originally that they rebuilt the Winter Garden that fast. I'm guessing it's due to its location because it wasn't right next to the collapse of the towers, it was able to kind of withstand the damage and be rebuilt relatively easily to where it wasn't like there was a bunch of rubble piled up right on top of it. It was just out of the way far enough and they were able to rebuild it very quickly and reopen just about a year later. But either way, guys, those are just some forgotten buildings. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.